We're just gonna skip the intro. But it's been a minute. Did you guys miss me? Because I missed y'all. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm gonna show you. So we are at Vegas Auto Gallery in Las Vegas, Nevada. And check out some cars. Doing a little dream shopping. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully next year uh, we do something special. I don't know just yet. But you see the title and the thumbnail of the video. This is gonna be the main focus. But we're gonna get to that in a little bit. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. We already hit a thousand subscribers. I believe we're at like 1,300 now. But gotta get that watch time up. So the more you guys watch, share, comment, all that good stuff is good for me so I can get monetized and start bringing you guys some more bangers. But uh, let's go ahead and head inside real quick. Alrighty, so shout out to Tony who's letting us back here to see all their new inventory. So. There's Ferraris, Porsches. I'm just taking it all in. So I can just show you guys what they got going on. This is their new location, correct, Tony? Uh -huh. New location. And this is off the 215. And I believe uh, Desert 215 Dodge is down there. So right before you hit that, you'll see this off to the right-hand side of the freeway. So I'm just, I'm just taking it all in, y'all. I'm just showing y'all what they got. Ferraris, just all types of stuff. Huracan. I believe that's a GT3 RS or a GT2 RS, Tony? Three. Three, okay. 2023. We'll take a look over there. This is definitely, you already know. I've seen that green one, but this red one right here is, woo. Bro, look at that wing. That is crazy. Carbon fiber hood. I'm telling you, with Porsche, they knocked it out of the park. The attention to detail. Look at that. That wing back there is just ridiculous. Aston Martin, another GT3. Rolls Royce. All types of Cullinan, orange interior. That's beautiful. I thought that was a Carrera GT for a second, but nope. And no. <laughs> but, uh, Flying Spur, C8 Corvette. There's so much stuff in here. So much. A lot of Benzes back here, Tycon. Y'all have already seen the G-Wagons and the Euruses. Tony, is there any car in here that is like, that's hidden, that the people don't know about that we can show them? Nothing, nothing that's like, oh my gosh, it's here. Okay. Uh-oh. We'll take a, take a gander in here, y'all. See what's going on. Another Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce, Flying Spur, Bands, I forgot the name of that, Bands. This year is very nice. Other years, another year. Is that the, um, this isn't the 4x4 squared, no? Okay. Wow. One. Look at this, y'all. Look at the wheels, like. Holy moly. One of 99. Live and in the flesh. Could you imagine? I couldn't imagine. And it's a V12? That I did not know. Get the interior. This is beautiful. And it's a Maybach, too. Wow. What kind of. This is a, a Brabarus. Look at the, the rims on that. That is crazy. Now the interior is what, look at that. Is this custom or did it just? Yeah, it's a Mercedes G63, but converted to a Brabus. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is a different type of money, y'all, for sure. Yeah.
years, or one, two, three years is. There's some nice stuff at this location, but being what it is, obviously, it's only going to have more of the nicer things, so. Just taking a look. Here's a GT3 RS going out. Alrighty, what's going on, y'all? So we got the camera fully, fully charged. We are good on that aspect. So just to give you guys a little backstory. So I grew up around motorcycles my whole life. My dad, when I was younger, he had a, a ZX-12. Um, and I was probably like, maybe like four or five years old when he put me on the back. Now for me, when I, when I was growing up, like I was never really like heavy into motorcycles like that at all. Like I was more into cars. So I decided to take the uh, the basic beginners riders course through Harley Davidson. Uh, I took it at Red Rock Harley, so shout out to them. Um, the class was three days. I did Friday to Sunday. Um, went over all the basics, the clutch, um, throttle, shifting, all that stuff. So took the class there, and I believe I took the class in 2022. And I don't know what took me so long to get on a bike, but I took the class. I had a Sportster. I rated my Sportster, and now, uh, I believe September of this year is when I decided to pick up my uh, Roguelite Special. And I'm not going to lie, guys, from a freaking little Sportster that I had to a bagger. Hold on, let me get y'all focused. Let me get y'all focused. Boom. To a bagger. From a Sportster to a bagger, I'm not going to lie, it's a night and day difference. Obviously, a Sportster is, like, way, way small probably weighs like 400 pounds this is 800 pounds with a full tank um and honestly you guys i absolutely love this bike with all my heart i'll never sell it like ever <laughs> i have a listed for sale right now because i was trying to buy another uh pretty cool purchase that would be dope for the channel but i'm never going to get rid of this thing so let's just talk about some of the things that are on the bike so right now, as you guys can see, I have the stock seat. I have a uh, kind of like an aftermarket saddleman seat at home, but it's missing uh, two of the screws to actually hold the seat in place. So I'm gonna get a new seat. I want to get a Corbin, um, but the Corbin Widowmaker seat is like hella expensive. So uh, we're gonna have to wait on that. So I have the seat. I have the other seat at home, stock seat for now. It has 18 inch handlebars, which is actually really, really comfortable. Uh, I got these aftermarket floorboards, which these are missing some of the screws. If you have a Harley, these things shake a lot. So if you don't put Loctite, you're you're screwed. <laughs> and then um, I got highway pegs. These were from Amazon and these were for Amazon. And honestly, they're holding up pretty well. So let me show you all the other side. So this one, you see one, two, two missing screws, but whatever. Now, as far as wheels and tires, I do have the, let's see, I think it, these are Shankos, the SR77, yeah, y'all see it, man, y'all see it. So, I got the Shankos in, in the front and in the rear. Uh, I believe this is the Prodigy wheel, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, crash bar, what else? Clockwork windshield, which I bought off a guy on Facebook Marketplace for 100 bucks. I did have the taller one, which sat, like, all the way up here. But I took that off. It looked kind of corny to me. Um, as far as the engine, it is a 114. It is bone stock right now. It's not cammed or anything like that. I have a D&D 2-in-1. &D, uh, saddlebags. Um, and, and really nothing crazy. And then I guess I did the uh, speakers myself, actually. So I have uh, Kappa aftermarket speakers in here. So those are absolutely wonderful. Definitely recommend. Uh grips whatever brake lever whatever so the bike is just pretty much stock i really haven't done much to it um but i do want to do a 128 build on here and put it on e85 which would technically make it a race bike and not a highway bike so if y'all don't know the difference a highway bike is when your bike is just cam but a race bike would be like you know built motor and all that type of stuff so we're probably going to make this into a into a racing bike for sure it's kind of the route i want to go so yeah man this is the bike so this is going to be on the channel we're going to be making content with this um definitely going to go on road trips and things like that and then comment down below if you guys want me to get a like a gopro setup so you guys actually see me riding around 
in the city. Maybe we should do a video of me on the strip, cruising around or whatever. But uh, yeah, man, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Also, just a side note, this is the helmet that I'm rocking right now. This is the uh, Simpson Modular Bandit. Um, I absolutely love this helmet. Let me get y'all focused real quick. I'm sorry, y'all. Get y'all focused. So I absolutely love this helmet. Um, I got this at Cycle Gear. I didn't intend to buy this. I wasn't supposed to buy this, but I bought it anyways because I really wanted it. Um, do I recommend this helmet? I do. If you kind of, if you don't really like like the full face, the full face helmets, and you kind of want to have some air every once in a while when you're at a stoplight or something, I would definitely recommend this helmet for sure. Um, I paid, let's see, I think I paid like close to like 500 bucks for that helmet, and I like it. I think the padding could be a little bit better, but that's besides the point. It's it's still a good helmet. And just so you guys get like a good idea. I mean, these are the saddlebags, saddlebags. I mean, there's not much in my saddlebags right now, but you know, got a little bit. Definitely have some space in there if you want to throw in, um, you know, whatever, a jacket, pair of shoes or something. Show you guys the other side. It's empty right there. Cool. And then I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna do a startup of the bike. The bike is warm right now, so, uh, oh, let me back up, there we go. The bike is warm right now, but I want you guys to hear this DND pipe because it is absolutely menacing. And uh, we'll probably just end the video here. We might continue it. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. But uh, yeah, man, let me show you guys what this pipe is talking about. Pause. So we are back at the crib skis. Close the garage. The scat pack. I'm gonna call it the sad pack because there's no motor in it. And I miss my car a lot, not gonna lie. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me get in the light real quick. Bam! There we go. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, let me know how the quality was. How did you guys like the quality of the video? Let me turn the light on. There we go. Let me know how you guys like the quality of the video. I know it wasn't, uh, I know it wasn't the best. Um, I'm still trying to get a lens for this camera and, um, uh, better MacBook as well, but got to make do with what I have. So let, just comment down below. Let me know how the video was. Was it choppy? Was it smooth? Uh, did you like the camera quality? Uh, just comment down below, let me know. And then also comment down, let, let me know what video so you guys wanna see next. Um, I do have some plan for sure, but I wanna know what you guys wanna see or what you guys want me to talk about. So yeah, man. But other than that, it's been Just Call Me D. Stay the course, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.